it's Gary Fox and we are on tutorial number four. Uh, I have already pulled up LibreCAD and pulled up the drawing where we left it off left off last time, number three. So we're now ready to dimension except that I forgot to do one line. There's one line that I got a little overzealous on my cutting last time. So we're going to correct that problem. The problem is, uh, you see this part right here where we have it uh, protruding, the hidden view shows that that's a circle. So we're going to see a line right here. We need to uh, we need to show that. So we're going to uh, we're going to show that. So the first thing I need to do is extend is create a line that's at this junction point right here. I am then going to extend that line so that I could use it as a guideline. And so I'm going to use the trim extend function. This time we're going to use it to extend. So I extend over here. And that now basically becomes our, uh, our extend select entity to trim. Uh, or entity to uh, as a limiting function. And we've now got our new improved lines. So I will uh, delete this line because it's no longer needed. Okay, we are now ready to dimension. Dimension is the one part of the job that I hate the most, and uh, it just is the way it is. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call this layer Dim for Dimension. Maybe Dim for me, because uh, I don't particularly like it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make it the same width as all the... Actually, let's make a little smaller than the other two. Um, and the reason for doing that is that I'll make it a little dimmer when we get ready to print. Um, okay. To dimension, we go to our main menu. And uh, we select dimension. And we're going to start out with a horizontal. And this is not going to work. And that's fine. Uh, because i got something to show you. So we go to endpoints and we dimension it, and it is humongous. Uh, it's humongous. So what we're going to do, we're going to shrink that. And you remember on the very first tutorial, uh, not there, on edit, current drawing preferences, we did not set the dimensions. And now you know why. <laughs> Because we would have not known where to, to set those usually. Usually you don't. So you get it at this point. Okay, I think I need to make that thing at least one-tenth of the size it is right now. So I'm going to move everything over one decimal point. If I do it right. And here I just need to move the decimal point. We're going to keep the same ratios that the designers of the program used. Uh, so, we're just moving everything over one decimal point to divide by 10. 10 was chosen because I think it'll look good. So we hit OK, and that's looking better. You notice the test, text went away. So I am going to now delete that line. <clears throat> So I go back to uh, main menu, modify, delete, we delete this thing, and I deleted the wrong line. And I got problems now. Let's see if we can zoom in and do a little better job. Okay, should be able to delete it this time. So we'll do a delete. And we'll start all over with this. Uh, there, well, I've already messed up. There is a function that you can do, uh, go to previous. Okay, we're going to go to... Uh, Dimension, we're 
we're going to go to horizontal dimension. We're going to choose endpoints. We'll choose that endpoint, that endpoint. And now we're going to go to free positioning. And uh, our dimensions look pretty good, but I think we should go a little bit smaller. The text is kind of large. So we'll go back to uh, here, the main menu. Edit. Current drawing preferences. I think I need to make the text about half of what it is. Do the same for the arrow size. And uh, although I said the other stuff would be okay, uh, I think it is okay the way it is. I'm not going to keep the same ratios. I probably need to change those. So I need to follow my own instructions. Okay, so we'll make this also half of what it is. We'll leave those where they're at, and I think it'll look a lot better. So let's go ahead and delete <clears throat> again. Start all over. See how it looks. And unfortunately, it looked like I was messing around. Uh, I was. <laughs> but there's not a lot you can do about that. That's just what you have to do. That's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to continue on. Our first dimension line origin will be right here where we were at. We need to go back to endpoints. And watch out at this point. Make sure that you're choosing the correct endpoint because often it'll choose the uh, previous dimension line and that will mess you up. Okay, here I am going to choose the uh, end of that arrow so that everything's lined up. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> we will, and actually what you need to be doing is zoomed out more. Let's go ahead and undo that one. And let's pan this thing. Let's start all over with our dimension line. Make sure I'm back where I want to be. Dimension, endpoint, make sure I choose that endpoint, that endpoint, and now I'm going to choose this endpoint to line things up. Okay, and now we do the same thing. Uh, we can choose this endpoint, first extension, second extension, and then line it up, we'll put it right there. Okay, we got a couple more horizontal dimensions on this part. So first endpoint, second endpoint, and I'm going to have to go wherever I have to go. Okay, do the same thing on the other side because we don't know that the two sides are the same unless we tell somebody. And somehow or another they're not the same and I've screwed up, so let's try it again. Okay, we've got the first one there. I think it was this one that messed with me. Ah, I'm on free positioning. Let's go ahead and do the first one too. First, second, now back to free. And we have to eyeball this one to make sure that we're the same height. So I don't have anything to line to. That should be very close, close enough. Okay, we got a couple more horizontal to do over on this side. Back to the end point. First, second. Free positioning. Move it down. We'll line up to this one. Okay, and then we got the. Uh, we don't know that the center line really is in the center of this part, so we need to tell somebody. So we'll go here. To there and now we go free positioning and 
now we told them. That's got all of our horizontals. We're going to do a few verticals. We've got a few.